guys, it's Tammy, and you're watching Two Chicks Named Tammy. This <laughs> has no makeup, no earrings, no nothing today, but that's okay. I'm cooking. I am cooking a low-carb alternative to a Philly cheesesteak. Nope, no bread, but don't worry. It's still going to have the taste, and it's still going to be good. We're doing a Philly cheesesteak my way in a pepper in a bell pepper okay what i've got right here i have got three pats of butter and i've got about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and to that we're going to add mushrooms and onions mm. now those uh, mushrooms and onions that i just added there was a little worcestershire sauce on there that just sort of gives them that little extra, extra, extra. Now, you always want to salt. Salt here. And we want pepper. I love my pepper. I've got these on uh, about medium, medium high, and we're going to cook these until they get uh, soft and until the onions get translucent, and then we're going to set them aside and cook our beef. Y'all excuse my stove. Y'all know I can stuff, and a canner is hard on a modern stove. Uh, I've got brown things around it, but anyway, my stove is clean. It's just got, well, where I've been canning. Hey, y'all, I'm back. And this is where we're at on our mushrooms and onions. These are done enough. You can see that the onions are starting to look translucent. Some of them are. And the mushrooms have shrunk down. So what we're going to do... We're gonna just take this and put it aside. Cause we're getting ready to fry our, or not fry, but saute our meat. We're gonna use the same pan that's got some happy, happy juices in there. We're gonna put a little bit more olive oil. That's probably about two teaspoons. We're gonna let that all heat up again. And I've got the meat here, which has been soaking in some Worcestershire sauce. And now, we're going to add our beef. Yum, yum, yum. Doesn't that look good? What I did was I took a top round steak. And um, I just sliced it against the grain in very, very thin pieces. You can get a top round uh, pretty inexpensively. If you want a more expensive cut of meat, you can use that. Um, you know, any kind of steak will work. So, we're going to let it cook until it just about gets done. And then we're going to start to assemble things, okay? Okay, we're back, and our meat is done. We're going to put the mushrooms and onions back in there. An escapee there. And we're just going to mix it all up. And just let it sit here and simmer for a little while to um, let those extra juices evaporate. And then we'll be back to set this up and show you what else we're doing. Okay, we're back. And what I'm using today to um, for the Philly cheesesteak, the low-carb version. I need to wipe my knife off here. Um, I've got some peppers that are... Um, I have some peppers that are um, 
starting to age a little bit. See, they're a little bit wrinkly. And I don't want them to ruin and go to waste because, well, I just don't like to do that. Okay? I'm going to cut right in half, just like that. And I'm going to do this one. Cut it just right in half. Now, well look at there. That one didn't have any seeds in it. How bizarre. <laughs> but I'm gonna clean these out. I've got my garbage bowl here. Get the seeds out of them. Just like that. It's very, very easy. And I'm going to give them a rinse over at the sink. For instance, when it's like this, you probably don't want to put it in a salad or something. It looks old. But they're going to shrivel up in the stove anyway. And when they cook and cook down, and they're going to be so good with all the steak and the yummy yummies. Oh, oh, can't wait, can't wait. Now, we're going to put them in a glass pan. And I think I might should spray that. Okay, we're going to get our pan, and we're going to just give it a light spray there. Go ahead and just set these, set these up. Aren't they pretty? Now, let me get the meat mixer. Uh, okay, I got excited here, and this should be Monterey Jack cheese, not Kobe Jack. It's Monterey Jack cheese, or you could use mozzarella, or even queso fresco. Uh, provolone, which is an Italian cheese, is also another alternative to use. Now, with this, I'm going to cut each of those six and a half. And I'm putting them in the bottom of the pepper. Just like that. Because now we want cheese. Everybody likes cheese. Can you really have too much cheese? No, I don't think so. Let <laughs> me know I'm with our mixture here. And you're sort of got to have to stuff it down in there. Get your hands in there and stuff stuff. Okay, because you want, you want all this meat in there, and you want this filled up. You don't want an empty cavity with two little pieces of meat on top of it. Don't be afraid to play with your food. There. Yes, I'm getting a skillet. Of course you should all know that my hands are impeccably clean. If you knew how many times a day I washed my hands, you'd probably laugh. <laughs> but what I'm doing is I'm stuffing these peppers with my beef, onion, mushroom, and a Worcestershire sauce, sauce mixture. And don't be afraid to stuff. Get in there. Poke it down in there. Poke, poke, poke. Don't be afraid to play with your food. off a bit. Now we have cheese. There is about two cups of cheese right here. I grated it. It's best if you grate your own, che grate your own cheese because um, the cheese that you get that's pre-grated, it has got cellulose in it or uh, wood fibers. You know like that stuff you put on your wall when you're putting up wallpaper? Yeah. Um, it has to have that on there for it to stay separate. You see how this gets together? Well, I'm squeezing it a little bit together here. 
but you know, I mean, I don't know that it will hurt you, but why eat wood bark if you don't have to, you know? And don't be afraid to stuff them. Now, let's see here. Be sure everybody's got cheese. Okay, that looks good. Now, I like to put a little pepper. Just a little pepper on top. If you don't like pepper, by George, don't use it. I just like it. Now, we're going to put this in the oven. Now, we're going to put our stuffed peppers. Oh, that's heavy. In the oven and on 400 degrees. And we're going to bake them about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and then we're going to check them and see if they're okay. All right, we'll be back with the finished product. Okay, we're back and we're done. How does that look? Look at there. Mmm, 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 mmm. Philly cheese steak. Oh, and if you like, you can put a little, a little A1 on it. I like A1 on mine. Some people do, some people don't. But it's wonderful, and it's a nice low carb, um, you know, a low carb change from being on a big old piece of bread. So, try it. Please, while you're here, comment, like, subscribe, and please, please, pass it along. Just uh, share us everywhere. We appreciate it. We're just getting started. And if you like this video or my recipes, Please comment and do all that stuff for us. The other Tammy is working right now. And, um, well, I'm up here whipping up stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> so, this is what we've got. And, um, actually, I think Mama is getting ready to come over and she's going to taste it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I can get her to let me video her tasting it. What about that? We'll see how she likes it. Okay? Bye. God bless. And don't forget to play with your food. Okay, Mama is getting ready to bite into it. Let's see how she likes it. This is the low-carb version of the Philly cheesesteak. The tension builds. Hmm, smells good. That says it all, folks. <laughs> I hope you all um, decide to try this uh, low-carb option of the Philly cheesesteak. We're going to sit here and we're going to eat our lunch. So, God bless. Thank you. Sub subscribe. <laughs> like. Share. Come back and see us. Again.